Tobin, I'm in year 12 at Bendigo Senior and this is my second year doing it. Um, I did the mass dance last year and then this year I decided to um, audition after my teacher at school suggested it for the ensemble and I got a place so yeah I'm down here this year doing it. Probably the main thing I've learnt is giving it your all and performing to the best of your ability in rehearsals not just while you're on stage and really making the most of all the hours down here. Um, the commitment side of it and how dedicated you really have to be and focused in the lessons. Uh, it's been a pretty big commitment for Tash to and myself. And she's really been able to just, this is part of the experience and it's something she's just passionate and loves and so it, it has been sort of no effort. She's put herself to bed early to get up early, uh, making sure she's eating right and doing the right things. She's really determined to take this opportunity because it is a, a once in a lifetime opportunity for a student. <laughs> Hi, I'm Cassandra Tommy. I come from Bendigo Senior. Um, I live in Woodend. Um, the rehearsals, the dedication that we all need is really hard. <laughs> get really tired but like the choreographers, choreographers are really great um, and they help you out a lot which is really good. Um, I've learned how much energy we actually have to put into it like we can't just relax once and then do it full out one more time we have to do it full out every single time it's a real it's dedication it's a lot of dedication to do. Um, this week's been our first intensive where everyone's in, uh, we're starting to integrate the singers into the rehearsals. So very nerve wracking at this part of the process, um, but it's been great and look the kids are always great, you know, they, they come in with a certain style and, and you know, we, by the end of it, we, you know, try and progress that style and, and, uh, and really actually push them to, to, to their limits. learned so much from uh, dancing with Troy and Dion. I have started doing so many different dance styles. I feel like I've progressed with my dancing from here to up here and it's just it just keeps going. I just there's no words to explain how how much respect I have for them. Working with Dion and Troy, Dion absolutely is one of my favourite teachers, so Troy also, I'm not going to leave him out, but Troy is definitely a you work or you leave sort of guy, and I respect that, he honestly, it's a good way to be. Dion pushes you to like your limit and then once you've reached that he wants you to go further <laughs> Just their working style is incredible and it is amazing to see them both come together and form something so magical and so beautiful with all of us Yeah, singers, dancers, everyone, you've got to start doing it flat out so you can Yeah, even if this is a style of singer, dancer, thing like the table comes on You've got to jump in and get it down and feel it Don't leave it till you've got two days there you're going, you said you're Yeah, jump in the deep end out. Dion and I will not let you go out looking stupid. Yeah, Dion years because it's such an amazing experience and being at high sense and performing in front of people is such an amazing feeling. I think each year the nerves go down a little bit but it still can be very nerve wracking. This is my second year running and I'm in both um, principal vocal and principal dance cast. Um, I've learnt that I'm um, like quite a versatile performer. I never really realised that I, um, I can be used for a lot of different things. Like I've got a, 
um, classical training and a contemporary training, and and I've learnt that that they all can be used in in the same show kind of thing. I always thought that I'd come into spec as a contemporary vocalist, but I've I've used all my skills in all different ways, and it's been really good to establish myself myself within myself as a performer. The hardest thing's definitely been the travel. Uh, I'd spend around eight hours a weekend on a short weekend on trains, on V-line trains, and I use all my data on my mobile phone really quickly, and, and I spend, yeah, and I, I just, I have, I hate trains now, I hate trains, I hate the delays and everything, but it's so worth it coming here, like, it's, I couldn't, I couldn't imagine doing anything else on my weekends. The joy on their faces when they first get into that arena is is crazy, and you know, and I say this to them all the time. But it's it's going to be an experience that they will never forget. You know, it's it's just it's so big, and you know, you have uh, an orchestra and you know, a fifteen a fifteen hundred piece choir. You have X amount of dancers. It's a, it's a full house, the arena, and it's it's just, it's major. It's so major, and these kids they really don't get it till the day. I think you know, you try you can explain to them as much as you want, but until they step in that. Arena with the audience, you know, it's only then that they, they, they get it. But yeah, it's a great experience. The best part about going to High Sense for the spectacular would be just before you get on stage when you hear the whole crowd clap for the previous number after they finish and they're in the end pose, and then you're about to go on and have the exact same thing for when you finish. It, it just something rumbles up in your chest from your gut, and it just feels amazing. Um, the best part of State School Spectacular is from back in Colac, in a small country town, then coming to Jason Coleman's and getting pushed to your hardest and then dancing in High Sense Arena on the big stages. <laughs> yeah, everybody's surprised when they first see the show. You, it just blows you away. You're not just looking at your daughter or son, but there is three, 3,000 kids or 3,500 kids on stage and it, it's just mind-boggling how you guys put it all together, how all the dancers come together, and all the other acts, and then you've got the musicians and the vocalists, it's just, just amazing. And the price of the tickets, it's just unbelievable for all the family to come and see it. It's really affordable. This year I'm in Ensemble Dance, which is a great experience because I've never been in something as big as this, and it's a great learning experience. A lot of hard work, but I'm willing to put in. Production week in High Sense Arena just blew me away. Like there were so many people, so many cameras, all the choreographers. Everyone was just working on us and the overall performance. And it just you just have so much fun. You're just all your friends talking, laughing. You're just there all day, every day, the whole week. And yeah, it's just amazing. <laughs> I've come back to State School Spectacular for a second time because of the experience you get from it and just the, the feel of everything. You're working with some of the best people in the industry and it's one of the greatest feelings you can possibly have. To miss this for anything else I feel would be a crime.